The Fountain, Day 204, Separating Bone from Marrow. Scripture says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him whom we must give account. Hebrews 4 verses 12 and 13. The word of God is amazing. It's alive. It's not only alive, but it's active. This indicates it's always working, moving, molding, shaping, transforming. Reading and meditating on the word can transform our lives if we let it. The only way it wouldn't is if we resisted. Because it is alive, every time we read passages, we can learn different things. It's worth reading over and over again, as during our refining, it will highlight different things. Scripture reminds us that we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. It's through each phase of renewal that we are able to draw different truths from the word. Renewal changes our perspective. Transformation means we are consistently able to be changed. When is the last time you read the word to be transformed? When is the last time you read the word and purposefully focused your heart and mind upon it so it could do its full work? When is the last time you read the word without assuming you already knew what it meant and instead took time to look upon it with fresh eyes? This is when separation of bone and marrow occur. My life is currently being transformed because I'm looking at everything as if it's new. I have purposed to stop doing things simply because it's the way they've always been done. And instead, I've set my heart upon the rhythm of heaven to understand better his plans and systems and leaning in to live according to his standard. It's taking time great attention to detail, loads of humility, patience, love, rest, aloneness, focus. Will you join me on this journey uh, into not only the unknown, but also the refined separation of bone and marrow, the detailed journey, the great refining. Scripture says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. John 1 verses 1 through 5.